for many years, um, you know, there, there was a, a, an underutilization of platinum-based neoadjuvant therapy. And I, I think that the real world data tells us we see in the community, outside of the much higher standard that we oftentimes see in academic centers, I've seen it really improve in the community to make sure that we're em employing for our um, muscle invasive bladder cancer patients. We want to stage them correctly, but absolutely before we would go to cystectomy, not rush them off, but give them the benefit of having platinum-based therapy. <coughs> I think now that with the, the, the data from Niagara is so compelling, I thought it was great that Josh was able to present it just a month ago at AUA and, and really and have a forum for that. And, and frankly, the AUA had a lot of bladder cancer. It was really more bladder cancer than it was prostate cancer for the first time that I could ever remember. So I think that to, baked into your question, and is, it's really important, the multidisciplinary um, conversation, whether it's through a tumor board or just making sure that our uh, urologists oncologists have the patient see the medical oncologist. And now the Niagara data, which is now incorporated into NCCN, um, because it is level one, as, as, as Petros points out, this is the new standard of care. And I, I do love the fact two key things, at least from a urologist, or really three things. One, it, it really did not um, distract or deter patients going to cystectomy because of any unusual or new uh, scene uh, tolerability profile. That was great to see that. We see great pathological CRs, and then we also see the ability to bring this to patients with lowered renal function, lower GFRs.